welcome back to part two of the F14 tutorial. Today we're going to be finishing up these side things, and then probably getting the rudder done, and then maybe just maybe doing this camera on the front. I'm not sure. I think I might just save this all for a part three. I might do like part 3.1, part 3.2 uh, if I need to, but yeah, I just want to get rid of this stuff for today. So I'll be ready to go full camera lock um, next time we do this, which might be on like the later side of a Monday or Tuesday, but we're going to start off by finishing up this camera lock right here. Uh, so this is a very convoluted mess I've made, but it was all in the name of saving space. So, but first I want to get this down because I might have to delete. I mean, I don't think I'll delete it, but just my camera lock will like run really close to it, and un it might go like run into the rest of this other build. I mean, my first build. So what I want to do is I want to get as much of this build down into this one as possible, and then I can uh, copy some stuff that might bump into this. Uh, but it'll be fine because I'll already have it copied over here. Uh, that's the problem of making these little larger builds, I guess. Um, but yeah, okay, I guess now that we have everything up to here, we can get started, and I guess let's get into it. So we have a disconnector here, we have a motor here, and then we have another disconnector above it, right to the right of, like it kind of connects to it like that, it appears. Wait, wait, no, that's TNT. The disconnector is right here. You want to grab a motor. Right here. Uh, oh, looks like I've made a mistake. This has to go here. And you can just replace this with a text one by. Oh, I have so many signs. Sign one by twos is good. Uh, not that many, but I'm enough to last me. So, now that we have our wings in that front part done, we're gonna go up over. Uh, so we have those two there. We have our TNT hidden right over here. Uh, let's just slide it in. Right on top of this. It appears. Yep, and then it goes actually up for two. Then we have another one of these side things to give us extra space to build without blocking anything valuable or like poking out. And this one is a three, two, and two. So, what we're going to want to do is just go make sure trail. If you have, I recommend having this thing always built so you can just copy and paste their trails too, which is another useful function of it. But, I'm just gonna build this little thing with trails. You have your text one by three. Place something right here if you can, so you have something to build on. And place that. Grab your text one by two, make sure it's facing down so it's hitboxes against each other, and there we go. And now we're almost at the level where we're, I mean, the height where we can start building the camp this is all cockpit stuff and then this is all engine stuff so and then everything else up here is just intakes and nose cone um so intakes nose cone engine i mean cock uh cockpit um engine and then um this is just the base or some extra stuff that's clipped onto the rest of that and the wing guards and effectively and stuff so let me think where yeah so okay we're getting close to this motor lock tower to it. So we go, good, we have a problem right, right, right. And then we have another motor right here on top of that tower. Make sure it's locked. And then he's gonna connect to a disconnector and a normal motor on the right. And I think this might be the end of our motor lock tower up until here. So that would be that'd be nice if it was, but I feel like I'm probably missing something, so I'm gonna go check it. Yeah, over here. Okay, so this is where we have one TNT block. And now we're getting ready to build this side thing. So you're gonna start out with one motor like that. It's gonna go right up to here, so on the front edge of that. 
and then you're just gonna go all the way back over to this, and then you're just gonna go forward. Uh, just keep coming forward, and then we'll slowly build out, so we can just extend this as time goes on if we need to, or I can try to count. Let me see. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, so that's up to where we'll end to get now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, yeah, but this is going to start blocking and bumping into stuff, so we might have to stop it, temporarily stop here. If it's, if this thing is too tall, what we can do is I can build it first over close to here, and then build the other thing out here, or I think what's more likely is I'll just build this entire camera lock apart first. Um, and then I can delete it. So, this is good progress. Uh, yeah, I think this is 13, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Uh, that's close enough. I don't want to go too far. I'm going to get this part done really quick. So, now we're back to the old reliable basic motor lock tower, which should be pretty, pretty much more fun to build than this cancer stuff. I was the convoluted mess that occurs over the lifetime of building an aircraft trying to cut corners at each side. So yep, that's looking good. And then right over here, slide on the um Oh, so the disconnectors. Grab your trails. Doop, doop, doop. And go yoink. And then now we have this little motor guy. I out here in this little, this little one spot. I, yeah, it's right about that height. Now I'm probably gonna use the rest of my poor little, my poor little text when my two's up, but it's gonna be interesting. So, it's the same height, correct, and it's the same position that you can check. Those are the two things you're mostly gonna need to check. This won't normally matter as much because, I mean, it's harder. It's hard to mess that entire thing up. But, check check it lands in front of that so yeah i'd recommend doing these small little checks all over the tutorial especially after you build a lot of stuff go back and make sure you can offset your entire thing because if you offset one thing it'll be easier to offset another thing and these tutorials offsetting one thing can mean your entire thing's messed up i mean if you offset enough stuff it's better instead of trying to re-offset all the stuff you messed up it might be better just to offset the stuff you haven't messed up but i don't think any of you all are gonna mess up that bad uh so right over here, here's our texts, I mean, no, text trails. And then grab this half triangle wedge, which is one of my favorite pieces, just because of how compact it is. It's really great for attaching things, and it's also, it also, you can make these, like, balls out of wedge blocks, and in in those, uh, and then half down wedges, which look pretty nice. Uh, check, and then we just have, this isn't anything special, it looks like, so it's just gonna be... that, grab your motor lock, grab a half block, oh, that rhymes, and, so yeah, so we can replace this with text 1 by 3s since we're such an efficient, since we're trying to be so efficient, so just, you can do this with text 1 by 2s the end goal is that you connect it, so you can go text 1 by 2 text 1 by 2 or you can do text 1 by 3s with space or without space, depending on what you want to do. But it looks like it connects right in line with these two on that front. So, check and then check. Uh, but it has to be on which side is this on? It's on the right side. Oh, it lines up perfectly. It's nice. Um, Sparklers are a little bit odd. I haven't memorized their hitbox yet. We can actually really use them, to be honest, until somewhat recently. Uh, where I was trying to put them on planes and like I'd respawn and sometimes I'd be sideways. I was like, huh, Ruchi? What, Ruchi? You mean I can spawn in and all my sparklers will be pointing somewhere in trash? Huh? But yeah, I don't know if that's a, that's a bug. Or an intended plane crazy feature. Plane crazy has many, many intended features. Since Roblox is so buggy. 
But yeah, so now you're gonna grab your disconnectors. Oh my gosh, my foot's falling asleep. Grab your disconnectors and run them right along the bottom. Uh, looks like they don't start until right this middle one. So, and go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. You know, it'd just be more effective to do this and then go. Oh gosh, there we go. Uh, okay. Now we can move on to this. We can start adding hover engines. Um, the actual engines and some other stuff so let's get into it we'll start off with this first part you're gonna grab a piston slap it on right here the first spot where that motor actually i mean second spot because there's one under there but your stuff start uh, slap it right there make sure it's on 0.8 force 2000 toggle and lock on uh, with your piston key that you'll extend before spawning in Clip, clip, clip. Okay, so then we have a couple trail one by twos. So you're gonna go one trail one by two, two trail one by twos, and three. Ha, ha, ha. Dun, 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 dun. There you go. We can slap your trail right there. Make sure it is equals again because I hate trails almost as much as I hate the half block wedge pyramid nose nose cone that has those gaps in the ends that's the only thing I hate as much as trails that are that have L on them and you have to click L to stop them before it's spawning in one of my least favorite occurrences uh, grab your pilot seat this is where the other guy in your plane sits I have no idea what they're called I just built planes I don't know one <laughs> Um, and then you slap a motor. It's gonna be very close to the edge, but it will just, just not touch. So, yoink yoink. Oh, I'm gonna have to put these emojis in chat, but they'll be useful for later too, so. Yeah, I'll put these emojis in chat if you really want to. Um, I mean, not chat, I'll put them in the pinned comment. Uh, but yeah, just control surface, save file, laptop. I mean, control knob, save file, laptop, control knobs, lever, and then clock at like the 12, uh, 30 position. It kind of gives it a straight, I mean, actually it might be at the 6 o'clock position, I'm not sure. <laughs> it looks like a slightly off select clock, but yeah, those, if you want to, you can do those now. Uh, or look at the description theoretically, because I should have those already out. In the case I don't, that's what they're. Check, check, check. And then grab your trail. The actual joystick for the... Actually, this one doesn't have a joystick. I was having so much trouble trying to fit one in. You can try to fit one in, but I think... I felt like I'd have to add an entire new camera, like, row of locking to try to add, like, the joystick that's used for, like, gun stuff, so... I was like, no, thank you. I don't want like to make this thing any more laggy at this point. Because it it's already has so much stuff, um, and I'd be making like an adding an extra piston, and pistons are so annoying. Like one piston can offset the rest. If Rick G thinks it's too much for Plane Crazy to land, or if Roblox thinks it's too much, I guess since Roblox server is the one that's dying normally. But okay, now it's time for the check. This lines up with the back bottom wedge. Back bottom wedge check. I mean, not back, bottom, half block, I mean. And then, yeah, this seems to be pretty good. Now I'll just copy this, make sure it's 43.1 size. And then, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to paint, default, yoink, yoink, yoink. And you can paint the interior whatever you want. I just painted it green because I thought dirt shit is green. I was like, ooh, that looks pretty nice. Go click, click, and click. So we got that trail down now. Now we are going. Oh, you set up my mic next, next to me so I don't sound like I've just woken up, even though I have. Um, <clears throat> yes, yeah, so we have this first part there. And now we have our trails. 
I mean, it's basically the exact same positioning on the right side edge of these front pieces, right here. And we can do replace this again with all trails one by threes. I mean, text one by threes for the most part. So we can go one done, delete, done, done, delete. Done. Oh gosh, I can't place it that way because it's too close. Uh, done, done, delete. Now we see where we are. So this is the one that went down, okay. <clears throat> that was a pan of tornado that went down too, but I guess I copied the same design flaw for both of them. But let me see, so right about right over that first motor, it stops and it goes down. So right over that first motor, I can, put, I can slap a text one by three here. I mean text one by two here. And grab another text one by three. Place the first one back there, so the second one can be placed there. And then I think, wait, can I just place the next one? And then the motor is pulled up by that right over this first one. Right over this first one, check. Pop your last text one by two there. I mean, you're gonna have more than me, but... Now we can make sure it's aligned with that one. Good. And then you can place your, uh, yes, place your next motor there. Make sure these are all locked, and then I'll give you the info for this one right there in a second. So it's going to be minus equals or whatever key you're using to turn this, and then some other key if you want to attempt to try to turn it backwards to uh, 0.25, so for about 25 degrees, and then a 1,000 torque powered lock. Slap that right on there. These are all locked. And then now we're gonna start making the first part of the cockpit. So you're gonna go half wedge. This can all be made out of glass, but I'm gonna make everything out of default for now. And then I'll go paint it later. It's more satisfying. Uh, it's kind of like the Lego builds when you put the wheels on finally. It feels really satisfying. But you're gonna just grab this. You're gonna go one, two, one, two. This one right here does not turn. And you're going to grab equals. These is going to be the struts that go across your cockpit front piece. I did not put any of these on the second part because it just been way too, way too tiring. Um, wait, did I do outside or inside? I did outside because they're trap doors and they go a little farther out. So I, I did this. Ta-da. If you really want to, it might look a little bit nicer if you do that too. So something like that, at, at least uh, depending on how you want your struts. Um, check, and then now we just keep going to the right, and we have, we've arrived at the next, the next spot, which is one, a little farther than one over, which it doesn't need to be. It can actually just be one closer, which I will do that because the problem is I'm running out of space before I hit that rest of the, the conjunction point between the rest. Actually, I might be able to place it, like, right here and avoid this entirely, but it might be sacred to put, yeah, it's already, it's still out of and it's a lot of clearance, might as well. So, you're gonna grab your motor. This one is gonna be set to UJ, and it's gonna be on two, so it can kind of ram the motors into the cockpit area and kind of, kind of want it to almost clip them in, because it's kind of funny. I can't tell if there's like some mystery, goofy block that's been bugging me for my entire life that has been preventing me from, um, fully turning it, and then that's why I have to set the speed up. But it's fine. Okay, so over here, one, two, three, yeah. one, flip it, other side, two, and three. <laughs> now this is gonna be the extremely small clip mechanism you're gonna have. It'll just be a few motors, it's just gonna be one, two, one, and that'll be all the motors you're gonna be using for that spot. Um, but yeah, the point is this to be as small and compact as possible. Um, because too many motors and you have to set up a build, a big motor locking area that's like free of any blocks so it can actually fold into the thing like this other guy did. Um, with his like insane F14 three blocks wide and had like a fully, like that was an insane F14, but 
Uh, we're not going that high quality, but we're just trying to be a little better. But yeah, uh, without doing that, we we're trying to minimize this area here. And what you can do, now you can go three up off of that point. So off of this, one, two, three. Is it? No, there's only two up, but you're going up three total. And then make sure it has that setting, but we'll review in a second. Yeah, so 12 degrees, 1000 torque, powered block equals minus. I mean, I call them degrees, even though it's technically speed, but because I use it as a degree measurement, basically. Since I realized this spot was going to come in front of the rear cockpit anyway, I thought it's best just to paint some of it green, because it'll um, it'll look like it's actually part of the the spot any uh, more. And then go right here. Ooh, wait, why did I paint that one with that? That's, that's not equals minus that slot. Um, okay, now we can move into this next spot. Grab your, grab all your trapdoors, your glass trapdoors. We're gonna go on a trip. Uh, <clears throat> Wait, did I miss something up? No, bro. No. That's why I placed it one far too back. It's supposed to be slightly off-centered. Just do this. There we go. Now everything should make more sense. Half block. Half trail. Equals zero, zero. <coughs> there we go. That looks like it's... Better, and then now you can grab your trapdoors. You just want them to be equal, equal. Do I have already? This one should be, yeah. Equal, equals, or equal semicolon. It doesn't matter as long as they're not trying to open up. Because you, you, these are the ones you just don't want to open up. You can, I think you can just place them all on one side. Which I'd recommend probably placing them all on one side. And then having this section right, yeah, so they go one, two, three. No, one, two, three. And then these side things have Y on them, and this is because you're gonna close your cockpit, and then you're gonna click Y or whatever key you wanna use for these to um, open these sides up, and then you're gonna slap it, uh, slide into position, and then close them again. Because once it's locked, the trapdoors don't care about what, what they're running into. Like, they're still gonna turn in. Which is a really nice feature of them, uh, and you can do a lot of stuff with them. And since you can click them while you're out of spawn, people have used them for mechanisms. Which are pretty cool, but I don't, I don't make them any mechanisms in plain creeds. Uh, so that goes great right there. Now I'm running along. It's not text one by two, so if you're just doing like that for me, thank you. And then now that those connected there, I'm gonna go one, two, three. So. That's connected. Uh, this does not need to be connected for any reason at all. It's literally just one wasted. I think I wanted to write something on the back of it, but I mean, you could if you wanted to, but that's one wasted sign for me. So, next one by two, and one by three, and one by three. Now we're gonna make this uh, this upper part. It'll turn down slightly. I mean, it itself isn't turning down. There's some trapdoors that are turning down in line with the other spots. This isn't half, half wedge, wait, half wedge up? No, it's a down. There's literally no re- actually, yeah, there's like no reason I had to do that. I could have just set it right there, but it's fine. Me of the past will dictate what I guess what I have to build, but actually wait, oh wait, never mind. I did have to be up because I needed room for that. Yeah, I knew me of the, I knew my past self was being smart about that, but <coughs> oh, my throat. Uh, then we just go toss toss and done. Yoink. There we go. It just barely fits in. Barely squirms in. I'm gonna have to get to work on that part soon because I'm gonna, I'm gonna wanna delete it. So I'll have room. Well, actually, I don't need anything else under here that I have need room for. So that goes there. And then we have an entire cockpit piece. is right here and it has tons of these trails which are connecting different parts of it so I didn't want to use signs because it would be so painful and I didn't need um, and I did not need uh, sign, uh, text for this part because it was so low to the ground 
of the aircraft didn't want to interfere with this mechanism. But it looks like I start attaching them on the right there and there, so. So of uh, this one, so we already have this down. Well, we can just check one more time. Doink, doink. If any th if stuff is slightly off later on, I can open up my showcase version and figure out from there. But now we can keep going on. I, I was like, oh, if my thing's right here, I, d I forgot that I'd have to start out pushing my wing to the side. I probably, if I was really smart, I would just not built that wing at all and been like, oh yeah, just mirror it. But uh, I was like, no, I gotta make that wing, so. I have the full 100%, not 98% tutorial, I guess, but now, now my thing's gonna be overlapping my old build, but it's so good I, I was able to offset it forward somewhat. If I was able to offset it forward, I'd be in way bigger trouble than I was, so. Um, now we're gonna grab... Gosh, yeah, we're, now we only have a couple things left. Well, it's just these engines and that rudder will be done for today. Yeah, so it looks like we're gonna go. These are all equals, right? Yeah. Okay, this makes zero sense at all. Why? Why are you going over? Why can't you just stick to the ground like a normal functioning human trail? Goofy. That's, that's a goofy past me moment. That's not a high IQ moment. That is a very. That's a small brain. That's a small. That's a minuscule cortex point. There we go. I right, have to go. Am I do I go on further back? Yeah, I go all the way in the back. Over the back of the line. Then you can grab your motors. Slap one right here. And then you can, then it switches down to below. Okay, this stuff is all gone, so I can delete that in a second, and then we'll place this in engines. Um, I might be able to get started on my first engine in a second, but let's get this cockpit done first. So we go out one, two, three, four blocks, and then we hit the first half block. One, two, three, four, one, one, two. Actually, it's clipped up. Oh, yeah, so one, two, three, four. Then we hit a half block. You can move this front landing gear around if you want. I couldn't find a good landing gear. I mean, a good blueprint that had landing gear down. Like most of them had it up. So I, I think I found like one that had like general spots. So I was like, oh, it seems approximately there. But uh, yeah. Also, if you don't want the back landing gear to turn up, you can just you can uh, you can flip it forward and have it be. I mean, it theoretically won't look as good because it's just gonna be out in the open. But I didn't want to have it. I was I want to give you guys an option because I don't think I was able to find a spot to put it if, uh, put it in where I would put it if I had it fold up. So I was like, oh, if I fold it backwards, though, I'm going to have some room. Uh, even though it's not the actual way that 14 folded, it's better than nothing, I guess. So depends on what you want, since this isn't like a full-scale model. But Small landing gear here. There. Go wing panels one by two. <laughs> then we hit this, which is just normal block, it looks like. And, and just so we can make sure it's aligned, it should be right behind that one by two part. Behind that one by two part check. And then now you get the entire line of clipped motors. And then you go one, two, three, down. And then this time you're using another small end gear, except this one does not turn at all. I mean, it does turn once uh, you turn off steering, and you go um, semicolon. So it'll plop down automatically, and then when you clip everything together with whatever cue, to have this set to whatever you use to clip. I use semicolon to clip, so if you use like oh, zero to clip all the blocks together, or eight or something, or P maybe. Um, any of those keys, just set that to there, and then this is going to pop up, and it's going to basically smooth out the curvature from the edge of back into this, into the body of the plane, so. 
And then now we have this part. Let me go one, one, two. Now we, now we need some more text, it looks like. Yeah, this goes all the way back there. So, text starts right. Oh my gosh, I can't zoom out sometimes. I think, I think crazy just likes to go be funny. Be funny like that. There we go. And then, then we have a trail on the top of this thing. Actually, no, this is a text one by three. So you're actually going to place this trail right here. Wait, don't tell me I'm all oh, great, I misplaced it. Thanks. There we go. Thank you, Pinkers. Uh, there we go. Then you can grab your sign, I mean, uh, text. I mean, signs. I use signs for everything. Uh, I like, I mean, whenever it comes to this stuff, I think I prefer signs more a little bit. I have a sign bias. It sounds like an actual term, sign bias. Go up one, two, three, and you'd think this would be the end of it right here, but no, you have to delete a little spot in here because this motor boy right here likes to get stuck in it and it'll jam your cockpit system. So, and you the last thing you want is your cockpit system getting um, jammed because then you can't close your uh, hatch, and uh, that is not fun. That is a not fun one. I had so much pain because I was like literally trying to figure out the one thing that was wrong with it. The one reason why the uh, canopy when it's closed and the entire thing just, oh, I hate the canopy now. I'm like, I never want to do a canopy again, but I'm going to have to do one for the Su-57, which I was starting to work on a bit, but. And it's like one of those sliding ones, so I'm going to have to use a piston. I can't tell if that's better or worse, because like before it was like really straightforward where I was going to put the stuff, but now with the Su-57, I'm like, where am I gonna have to, like, where am I gonna hide it? Like, how am I gonna make that? But I guess I'll try to figure out on the way. Oh, I was trying to copy that other edge. That's what I did. But yeah, on that spot. So, yeah, it's pretty good. Just, just a couple of things you can copy and paste. Uh, for you, I'd say it's pretty much up to you what signs you wanna use. I don't really care. Like the same thing with library, I don't really care. Uh, you can just slap some signs. Also for library options, you could delete two of these, just put a sign right there, and then type in some stuff if you want that. Or you could clip a piston right here, clip it all the way down to the bottom of it, and then push out a line slightly on top of the piston, so we'll try to look better. But all of that requires more pistons, the last thing I want to do is like make the base model less optimized and more painful to use, so feel free to check out library, I'll, I'll put some library options below, and the, I, think I'll, I think I'll have one, one out of the uh, three series for the base model, and then I'll add some PvP options on top of that, and then uh, camo and library go more into depth. But also, here's the color for this green one if you want to use it. Um, but yeah, so now, now I'm just going to copy paste this one. One, two, three. This first one is actually going to be all the way up on the top. For the very, very front of the first one. But I, I copy paste that one on the rear. Uh, and you're going to go one. Two, one, two. I'll put all of these in the things. Uh, you'll be able to find them all in the pink comment, hopefully. And this is another extra two controls. One, two. There we go. Now that that's done, we can keep. Actually, this is the edge. The engine this is the engine there, I guess. That's what I call it. Actually, yeah, this might be technically a four-part series. Please, I'm gonna end this in a second once I get this, once I get to the edge and get the engines on. But let me think. So, this goes to the edge, edge. Okay. This is all set up so I can start building it. There's a little sign there at the bottom. I'm gonna delete this one too. And now we have space finally. Okay. So, now what we're gonna do. It looks like we go down, 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 all the way back. <laughs> down, 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 all the way back is what I think I memorized from that. <clears throat> like I have a little tri trap, I mean, we call them diamond. Wait, no, D 
down, down. Oh, you go all the way forward first. All the way forward. All the way. So, let me get this straight. One, all the way forward, all the way down. Does do these always go? Wait, no, yeah. Wait, wait, no. So this first one, I go there. Okay, this is confusing. So one, two, right? Mm. Wait, no, it's just the average, yeah, the average one. This eclipsed. Oh, and that one has a disconnector too. Okay, that's what I was confused about. So that one's disconnected. And then it would just go one, two, three. One. One, two. Okay, I think this is the right, finally. This is the right combination. Then grab your trails, and then you're gonna need one more disconnector too. I mean, two more disconnectors. I wonder if Plain Crazy 2 is gonna have like a. I wonder if they're ever gonna have like a career mode or something like that where you have to like overcome obstacles and build specific planes. I mean, it'd make motor locking pretty useless because it's just a waste of motors. But then again, they'll have a stretch tool in Plain Crazy 2. Yeah. I wonder if it'll become like Stormworks. That game seems pretty interesting. I never played it. I mean, you can, like, program and stuff to blocks and have them, like, act a specific way. Like, people have made actual, like, unguided missiles in that game because you can launch it and then, like, program it in to, like, go off a radar stuff. That would be really cool, but it might be a little advanced for playing crazy. <sighs> okay, yeah, so it looks like right about here, behind the one where it goes all the way up on the left side from behind, right here, it's gonna clip up, I mean, clip down. <clears throat> and then it's going to connect to there, it's going to have another two. And then one right here. Then, there we go. Finally, getting close to finish, finishing this edge. This will go all the way back there. Now we can do an alignment check. That piston all the way back there. That piston all the way back there, check. <clears throat> and the very edge of the single beat, okay. Then you're gonna have another trail on top. You're gonna have sign one by two coming out right to here. And now we're gonna make this the other part that comes up from behind basically, and then we'll like cover the exposed motor locking. And then this is the settings minus equals 0.11000 powered and lock. <clears throat> you can pause that earlier part if you need to see it, but. So now that goes there, and then you're gonna get, wait, why did I extend this forward? I can literally just have done it at the very beginning, don't know why I did that. I can just slap that one right there. Is it four? If, oh gosh, what did I, oh no, where did I place it? Where did I place it? Whenever you have that moment where you place an extra camera, it always freaks me out because you never, sometimes you'll place it in the middle of something important, everything will stop working, you have to like go scuba diving for like, which, which specific thing is blocking which, but we well, yeah, this is for one, two, three, four, and then trail. So this is what you're gonna do. Wedge beam, wing panel, and trail, and this is just gonna kind of like help disguise it. If you really wanted to, you could theoretically put, put another one here and then put a sign, text one by three all the way forward, with, and then spam it with large black squares, and it, would, it might even slightly better help, but I don't, I don't think it would be worth it for that much work to set all of that up. And then, like, you'd be missing a spot or a chunk earlier, so it wouldn't, it wouldn't fully look that nice, but let's keep going. Um, <clears throat> one, two, three, four. And then we go all the way up to there, and then just bring it over. And then just bring it over. Back down, down. Two hops this time. Yeah. Remember that old song? Let's play it. P. Uh, there we go. Okay. Uh, da, da, da. Seems to be right. This front edge will border that other earlier part. Front edge borders that earlier part. And now we have some extra hover thrusters that I managed to smuggle into the rest of the plane. So now you're gonna go 
boost, make sure, make sure all of them, uh, speed boost drag low. We're just gonna slap all these hover thrusters in that we need. <clears throat> Put them right there. This one will go like this. <clears throat> one, two, one, two. There we go. motors completely zero everything just everything's off there and there and then now we have this special special spot right here where I where you can put your own this is gonna connect this spot right here and this basically just smooths out because you know like theoretically if this la landed downwards there's gonna be a slight angle because one of them is gonna be uh, facing this way when it's fully down, the other is going to be facing this way. So in order to fill that slight angle, I, I mean, like this way, and there's going to be a gap like this. So I've clipped something into here, and in old base, it's a trap door that covers both of those, uh, that covers that gap. If you, if you want that gap to exist, you could theoretically delete this, but I don't think any of you guys do, so. 1.07. You can also feel free to modify any of these pistons if you want to, like, slightly change some of the stuff or modify the build. Um, Anyways, you want if you want to like change some stuff. This is this is meant to be kind of like a good base too. If any of you guys want to like make your own, I guess F14. Uh, I mean, it wouldn't be your own that much, but if you want to kind of have a good base, this would work. Uh, the nose cones are I love camera lock nose cones because they're very nice. I guess generally. Um, so this yeah, that one, the first of that one. Wait, no, the first are back. Yeah, the rearest. And then one, two. So, one, two, one, two, one. Actually, that's too low. We want it to be on the bottom. We do want the bottom of the, yeah, we want the bottom of the, the first one, so what we can do now is the special trick of going yoink. Wait, yoink. And just you can slap some text on my right there. And yoink. There we go. And now the bottom of it should cover both of those. And so what you're gonna want to do is going equals equals right. Wait, was that really equals equals? Wait, how would that work? Because it would be blocking me. I have no idea how that worked. I don't know, I'm just gonna copy exact what, uh, what I did though, so. So both of these are gonna be Y equals, you're gonna turn them in. And there's two on each side, I deleted that one last, last thing I, uh, last. Last tutorial episode, I guess, would be what to call it. Um, but yeah, you can start painting all these things glass if you want to. I'm just for the kind of sake of time, but... Okay, now we're moving on to this rear spot. The rear spot in the engine, and then I think I'll cut it. But yeah, once I get this rear spot done, I'll cut it for today. So, yeah, this might be... Yeah, I'm gonna have a part three camera lock section and part three, two. So this... Because it's, that's gonna be way too long to do in a sitting. I'm gonna... I, I can't do two, two hour tutorial sittings anymore. Too, too, seems pretty exhausting that I thought about it before I was like, ah, oh, who cares, I'm just sitting down for two hours, but now I'm like, oh, I don't want to sit anymore, no, no, don't make me sit down and do another two-hour tutorial, no, no, don't do it, no. okay, here we go, now get ready to spam all the hover thrusters you want, you can modify this, try to clip more in, like you could extend this to the side more, and clip even more in, if you really, really want the extra speed to go up to 2,000 or something. Also, if this speed is too much for your plane and it starts wobbling, uh, just replace all of these with rocket engines. Super rocket engines, you can, and for that you're basically 100% gonna need to clip more to the side so you'll have more room because they aren't as efficient as hover engines, but uh, yeah. And then we're gonna go, it looks like from there. 
check two. Two, three, two, three. Actually, no, there's only three of them here. It was funny because I actually used to have more room for hover engines, but when I placed the engines down, there wasn't enough room because I had to make room. It's kind of counterintuitive. The engines are the thing that prevented me from... The engines slowed down the aircraft theoretically, uh, and typically, but... And then right in between these, this, there's going to be a big gap right here. Right behind that first... Wait, what is this? Oh, that's the mild one. Um, I'm going to go... One, two, three, one, and on the right. One, two, three, one, and on the right. There'll be one here, going back. And then, yeah, so I think what I'll do for now, I'll do just this engine side. If you're ambitious, you can copy, you can just use this information, copy it down to this other side. It's on the right of the two ones is it in the gap yes it is in the gap if you're ambitious you can get this done first before the next tutorial since you won't have anything blocking you but you will just start here um, let me slap in the trail some parts that are going to need it oh I don't want an L I don't want an L I want a W there we go there we go there copy it down yeah so you can kind of try to copy that one down i'm gonna go over this one though just this one for now so one two one two one i don't think i have enough trails on my twos for that yes i don't so i'm just gonna go steal hijack his steal his kidnap some ears give give me the trails you're not kidding give me the trails in the texts top down top down top Sounds like some kind of button cheat code. Up, down, up, down. Up, down, up, down, up. And then from there, grab your three cameras. It's gonna go camera, camera, camera. And then you're gonna go eight, nine on this one, on the right? And then 9, 8 on this other one. This other little goofy goober camera. And then you're gonna go 1, and go. Okay. You're gonna go. So you're gonna make your afterburners now. And you can make them a little funny. Oh, you can paint this all metal if you want. Um, like paint the entire thing metal because I think it looks a little bit nicer. Uh, that's what I did. I can, can go paint it metal later though if you need to. But okay, so now we're gonna. I'm basically gonna open this up. You're gonna see what it looks like inside the. What it looks like inside the mind of an engine. So there's two trails. Make sure you have these settings. That's the nom 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 nom. If you pronounce his name. Um, gosh, I can't zoom out. That dude's um, afterburner or whatever it is. So. Uh, so you have this setting. 0.01 the very smallest lifetime and even that one's pretty long for an afterburner it shouldn't be that long but it's fine transparent C.7 place two of them like that and then you're going to go copy down this color and uh, actually let me pay, place these things first because these are going to be colored too um, Actually, and I really like the way this afterburner ended up. You can actually paint around with this afterburner. Like, I think I might use, I'm gonna use this the same, I mean, engine design. So you color all of these pink, this pinkish thing, and then you're gonna go into here, color both of these pinkish, color both of these. Come on, wait, let me, let me get my camera in there. Come on, let me get my, I can't get my camera in there. Why can't I get my camera in there? There we go. Color both of them that color, and then you're gonna seal it up. Go one, one, two, two, three, four, and then now I just have this one poking out. Now you're gonna kind of, uh, you're gonna grab this. Actually, I think I painted all these trek black because they looked a little funny when they're still when they weren't fully painted black. 
And then you're gonna go trapdoors. Um, and then you're gonna go. So it looks like I put the. Yeah, so you're gonna go like this. I use sand for them. If you wanna use that, you can use any color you want. You could use rust, I think that would look pretty cool too. Um, but then you might wanna paint like a yeah, pretty dark rust if you want. Or you could try using like, a, like another, just more metal. I thought sand looked pretty nice, but it depends on what you want. So now here's the main spot in the spell text one by threes. It's like a hallelujah moment. Finally get to use these singing texts one by threes out of them laying around. The world would be a better place if Rikshi hadn't invented text one by twos. I mean text one by threes and just gave us extra text one by twos. Actually, it would be nice if we had a text one by four. But that would be in an ideal society and we don't have text one by fours. But yeah, so right over here, I, I can't fit the other two in, so I'll just come back to those later. What I'm going to do is I can start deleting this thing from the ground up and transferring it over. Uh, but since I haven't done that, I think we'll go a little bit farther in this tutorial. We'll cover a little more. We'll cover this sweater at least. Um, I mean, yeah, this elevator. So this elevator connects to the back of this, this motor lock piece. Um, I'm just going to go copy. Three, four, four, and then it drips down one, dips down one, and then and goes one, two, one, two. I love the fact that since I'm gonna have to make more than four, since, since it's technically not gonna be a three part, I'm literally just gonna be like, <laughs> I'm, I'm technically just making stuff up in like a uh, part three, part one, and part two. Uh, yes, my favorite part three, part one, two, three point one, three point two. It's just, I wonder if everyone who does stuff like that is just in the same boat as me making, up, uh, making enough excuses to have an extra part. Oh, you guys don't understand, it's actually part 3.1. It's not just a glorified part 3 and part 4, but... Uh, here we go. 0.5, and this other one is 0.52. Yeah, I did this because they were bumping into the things, and, I, and it was very annoying when they were bumping in. Okay, this should be lined up with the first thing in the engines. Wait, wait, no, no, it should be lined up with the... Uh oh we might have an offset. Uh, sir, we have an offset. Oh, no, not an offset. Anything but an offset, sir. So the pistons line up with the first of that. And the pistons go back to... One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, one, two. The pistons are a little too far forward. What's that mean? One down, one, one. Oh. No. Down, down, top, 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 down, down, top. We have an... Okay, so now we're gonna have to go down and, and figure this out the old fashioned way. Uh, we might have to rebuild some stuff, so that would not be fun, but one, two, three, four. Let's make sure what's right and what's not. One, two, three, four, done, done. And then it goes up to the top. Wait, no, it was the right, oh, oh my gosh, I myself. Oh my gosh, I was like, <laughs> I was like, no, I have to rebuild everything, but no, it was perfectly aligned the entire time. My brain, my little peanut brain, was just like, oh no. Since I can't see it perfectly, it must be wrong. But anyways, get these settings down really quick. SW for the right one, 5-1015. For the left one, WS-5-1015. Servo. Uh, you can change degrees, so yes. Uh, change degrees 25 if you want to have like one of those sweaty PvP jets. And then like 10 to 15. Maybe 8 or something. Or uh, maybe 5 if you're really... If you really want to have a slow turn. Uh, if you're not, if you just want like a relaxed jet to cruise around like a pvp server in or show your friends so and then there we go so once i finish this this last part we will finish this part the part three it looks like tutorial i mean part two tutorial so yeah what you can do is actually just get a one by four it looks like one by four one by four one by three 
by three, one by three, one by one, and one by one. And this is going to maximize the amount of... Uh, I mean, the, this, this is going to minimize the amount of things you're using. If you want to maximize, you could go replace them all with other stuff, but... Here we go. So this will be the official end of this first part. Uh, still no camera locking. Getting close to the point we're going to add it, but let me just test. We're going to test this out now. Testing is always important with these ones. If any, we just want to make sure it's not falling apart the moment we spawn it. If it is falling apart... Okay, so this part right here falls apart, which means we're missing one thing. Missing one thing. One thing I don't know how does it mean I don't want to What was it that one song? I don't remember. Wait, so this go oh yeah, this clips down. Uh let me just slide this in here. Three zero zero zero. And another text one by three, another one of the few parts of this build that we need. X one by three is spawned in, make sure it's working. That's connected, that's connected, that's connected, that's connected. P L I love how convoluted this crap was. <laughs> this goofy looking thing. Goofy little goof. Okay, so one of these is not having the best day, but okay, so the cockpit's working. It's just one of these isn't clipping down fully. It's this one, it, it doesn't want to turn. Oh, it's because I forgot to turn the first part of the eight, but yeah. Overall, it seems like it's working pretty well. Uh, yeah, this will be the end of part one if I find, I mean part two, if I find any more um, issues with it, I'll come back in a bit and, I mean, I'll come back for next one and then I guess we'll go over it, but. Saving the F14 tutorial, part two. We've got 400 parts today. Nice. Uh, but anyways, I will see you guys. Or what? What was I say? in this? Mm. This is Summit Builds. I will see you guys. Ah, that's not, this is Summit Builds. I will see you guys next video. Bye bye.